Hey seniors, it's Friday. Hope you're ready for the weekend. I hope you get a break. Um, I decided to uh, video from my son's room where I could keep a closer eye on the trampoline as my wife is not around right now. And uh, sorry, the uh, lighting is like it is, but uh, I might provide you some entertainment for a minute. Um, so we finished the government chapter and now we have four, chap uh, four days remaining of class before the next test which might be the final test. I usually have another one after that that's open book anyway. So regardless, it'll be easy. They'll all be easy. Um, so what we have left um, in this unit is two days of fiscal policy and two days of monetary policy. And I know that in the past, those two terms for students and you know, really for myself as well, do not sound very interesting and exciting and are, are really not very exciting topics. There is some things there, there are some things that are interesting, and I always like to say that are relevant, and I'm trying to pull those out um, so that you can learn some things that will be useful to you. And so that's what we'll do. Today's class, if you look at the length of the video, I'm guessing it's gonna end up being very short because today's class uh, in the classroom is usually, um, it's usually wrapping up the last chapter and then doing an activity in which they kind of read something and, and then take a little quiz and their textbooks can't really do that. So, um, so, okay, let's get to the PowerPoint. Let's just start this thing off and it's not going to be long. And so that's, uh, sorry, that's not all right. Um, Anna's crying, but that doesn't usually mean something's wrong. Okay. Um, all right, we start a new chapter with some maps that will be coming up here in just a minute. There we go. All right, this map of contiguous rivers of contiguous rivers, of rivers in the contiguous United States, um, makes the United States look lush and watered all over, even in the West. Um, so it's a bit deceiving. This one is the one that I think is fascinating. Um, the 7,000 rivers that feed into the Mississippi River. Wow. So stare at that for a minute. I'm about to change, so pause it if you want to. It's a fun one. Okay, fiscal policy, chapter 15. So if, if you want to be a good student, then you just need to take five minutes here and focus and get what fiscal policy is. Because fiscal means money, monetary means money, fiscal policy, monetary policy, sounds like the same thing. They're different. So with today's lesson, you should be able to get the difference. So fiscal policy is really about taxes and spending. Taxes and spending. Maybe I'll need to pause. Yeah, hey guys, I'm recording. I'm recording. So raising taxes and uh, cutting spending, that's generally, the, generally the government doesn't really take either path a whole lot and it's not popular when they do. So it's funny that these are on here, but doing things with taxes, raising and lowering, and then spending, where you put the money, um, that's all part of fiscal policy. Here's what we would be doing. Uh, so Daniel can do that and read those pages. Um, Art Laffer and the Laffer Curve. Now I will share with you a video about Art Laffer and his curve. Uh, that's what he looked like, I think, in the late 70s, or, well, early 80s. Here's what I'm going to send you. Uh, there is a reference to the Laffer Curve in the classic movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And you can skip that one if you want to, but it's fun if you've seen the movie. And then Art Laffer explaining his curve now as, uh, I think it's fair to say, an old man. And so I, I really think if you like numbers and you're at all interested in economics, you'll find the Laffer Curve fascinating. Um, interesting concept. I, I couldn't explain it any better than him, so I'll just let the video do the work there. Um, okay, stabilization policies. Stabilization policies, that's what uh, 
that's what fiscal policy and monetary policy are. You see the background there. Used by the federal government to keep the economy healthy because the government, part of the government's job is to help the economy, help create a, a stable legal environment for economic activity, something like that in the constitution. And so um, trying to keep the economy healthy. This chapter is fiscal policy. So if you can just somehow attach fiscal policy with taxing and spending, the government taxing and spending. Next chapter, monetary policy is the Fed. That's where the Fed comes in and we look at money supply and interest rates, okay? Um, so there's your picture. Um, shoot, we might get a thumbnail there, I don't know. All right, we're going to, uh, I think that's it. Um, so sorry if you were expecting a longer video. I'm, um, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, come on to Zoom and, and uh, we can talk more then. So have a great day. Oh, have a great weekend, okay?